Yeah, those wind gusts are going to get really, yeah. really strong today. Let's first check in with Brianna Fernandez. Wind is affecting the roads as well this morning. Yeah, and we actually have brand new video from Adams County Fire. You can see it right there on your screen. W crews were working early this morning to cut off about a three feet of the pole so cars can eventually pass by uh, down I-25. And right behind the crews, you can see that there is two semis there sitting on the side of the road. So when I spoke to Adams County Fire, they tell me that there was front end damage to those semis and uh, luckily no injuries. So Again, you can see that overhead sign. That was a big talker, and that's because of the winds that blew early this morning. So that knocked it down to I-25. So I do want to switch things over to our main uh, CDOT camera so I can show you what we're dealing with right now. So this is that area not far from where that overhead sign fell. So this is right near 84th Avenue. We're seeing miles and miles of delays, not only because of that overhead sign that fell earlier, but also because we're dealing with some crashes along I-25 heading southbound. So again, probably an area that you want to avoid this morning. I am staying in touch with Adams County Fire as well as the uh, Adams County uh, Sheriff's Office and CDOT to see hopefully we can get more answers of where this overhead sign is, how it fell and all that good stuff because I know that's going to be a big talker all throughout the day. So stay safe if you're heading out uh, taking I-25 this morning.